On the subject of practice, my mum said to me when I was a youngster, she said that um, practice makes perfect. She used to say a lot, David, practice makes perfect. Turns out, she's wrong. <laughs> practice does not have told her this, she's very disappointed. What practice does is it makes permanent. So one of the first things that happened to me when I went to uh, my tennis lessons is the coach said, hold the racket ball. And I spent 25 years holding the racket ball, and I got really good at holding the racket ball. <laughs> and it was really hard to hold it correctly. And I think this, you can see this with the kids that you teach. So I see, I see kids making, not using capital letters. Well, when I use capital if I go shopping, and I'm putting marmite on my list to get a capital letter, because I just do it automatically, because that's what I've practiced. And when kids write, they leave them out. And it's very rare you meet secondary age students who don't actually use capital letter. And you say to them, you shouldn't look at it, and they go, oh, it's just the way I <laughs> And the truth is that because it's the way they write, they practice not using capital letters, and they become super at it. <laughs> As digital leaders, our tasks vary from software reviews to helping teachers and to internet safety. And the reason I wanted it was because I needed to show my students that they couldn't just accept what I told them about the poem. They had to come up with their own interpretations and their perceptions. Um, you don't always have to explain those images. Those images for different children can mean different things, but at the beginning of a lesson or at the beginning of a topic, again, for them in those spaces to think about four different things they think they're going to be learning about. Honestly, he can't sit still for five and a half seconds, so what do you do? You give him a hat, you give him some guns, and you tell him to go and make sure people wash up. <laughs>